the first setup for steep turns. We're going to go to um, mixture. Do you want me to lean the mixture for this one? Uh, no, you can leave it. Okay. Rich. So we do the ABC checklist. All our lights are on. We cleared our turn. So we're going to be uh, about power 2200. And we're virtually at 3000 feet right now. Uh, okay. So I'll begin the left, or left steep turn. So turn. Once you pass about 30, you pitch back at about 100 RPMs. The rivet line on the horizon. I don't think there's any rudder. Rudder should be, your feet should equalized. be okay. just equalized. Got it. So I should roll the airplane in the round. They should be neutralized now. Oh, okay. A little more power. Okay, coming around to our heading. I use the rudder. Astro traffic, white cop, six shots. And then neutralize. To the uh, east of Lake Ashby, 3500 westbound. Ashby. Yeah, traffic connection, 217 to the southeast side of Lake Ashby. Add a little bit of power. Kind of bring it back a little bit. There you go. This is to your engine. And roll back out on heading. Okay. All right, my airplane. Airplane. All right, my plane. All right, now, one of the things that you said was keep the rivet line on here. That yeah, works very well with the, with the 172, with this particular Cessna, okay? But you're going to be flying other airplanes, okay? And the objective is not how to learn a, to fly a Cessna. Your objective is how to learn to fly an airplane, all right? So therefore, that rivet line is not always going to be there. Okay. You get the seminal and the seminal nose just drops right and off. You don't even have a nose to even look at. Okay. So you got to get used to really what um, you need to keep on the horizon. And what you need to keep on the horizon is the longitudinal axis, which goes between us right here, goes from the spinner all the way to the tail. And if you just imagine that being like a, a little uh, laser beam going right on out to the horizon, like it's got a little red dot out there, all right, if you can imagine that, all right, you'll be able to do perfect steep turns no matter what airplane you get into, okay? So if you just imagine that laser beam being out there, okay, when I bring the nose up, the laser beam goes up, okay, if I bring the nose down, the laser beam goes down, okay, and when I put back on the horizon, Okay, it needs to be right about there. So as I look to the left, we have to do this. Nothing's there. As I roll on in, okay, I'm going to keep that laser beam right on the horizon right there. I just a little bit of back pressure. Okay, right on over. And you want to hold it. And maybe a little bit of power right there. Okay, now, if I relax too much, watch the nose go down. See, it's in a, it's in a descent. Now as I pull back, I got to be very careful not to overbank it at that point. So I need to pull back and opposite aileron. All right. As I hold it there, if I pull back too far, the laser beam is going to go way up. Listen to the engine. As it's struggling, that means your nose is up too high. Yep. Okay. So you bring it around and you bring it right back on that horizon it's just gonna be about and hold that laser beam right there. The and as you roll out, the keep that laser beam right on that horizon. Okay. Okay? So if you, if you can teach yourself to really look at it that way, you'll actually do Again. really good steep turns no matter which airplane you get into. Okay. People have a tendency of getting point on the, the horizon or even making a green pencil. And making a mark on the windshield or yeah. using a bug. Not All right. Cool. That works for that time, but the bug, same bug's not going to be there in every airplane. Yep. 